Ahoy, 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 everybody. Ahoy. Oh, look at that. I look like I have a tan right now. Everything is very dark. Good. There weren't we go. You, weren't you just tanning? <sighs> Didn't you lay out on the roof? Uh, oh, yes. Night? I was tanning there. Oh, look, it's me. I know. That was so <laughs> last century. I know. I know. Tanning. So, how's everybody doing? Ahoy, ahoy, Sunday. Welcome. We are, we're in the midst of the holiday season. It is. We are. We're back after um, a few days off. Like, oh, my goodness. It's just so. Um, it was exhausting doing nothing. <laughs> well, but we didn't do nothing. We didn't we not do nothing. We actually prepared for a huge party, and it was just the two of us. Basically. Yeah, we did it was all kind of, of weird. Things. We couldn't not do the things. So, yeah. so we have so many leftovers, I can't even tell you. Yeah. Which is great. <laughs> hey, James Ducky Wendell is here. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you. Happy holidays to you too. Much love. Mwah. So great to see you here. <laughs> Um, I'm very, uh, very, very excited. I'm doing, uh, we got some, we had a fun, a fun holiday, I think. And there, we was, did, a lot, yes. there was a lot going on. Fun, exciting things you know, to do. I gotta say, I was really surprised by the amount of people who were streaming on Christmas Eve and also on oh, Christmas yeah. Day. Because personally, I was like, oh, I'm so glad we have some time off. And well, then, we, we hung <laughs> out with Crystal. Crystal was streaming. Right? Yeah, we, we hung out with Crystal streaming on Christmas Eve and, um, and, and Corey for a little while. Oh, my goodness. But let's say hi. We don't have okay, a, here, um, have a cup of coffee or a sip of coffee. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, check out. Cheers. Cups of coffee with new cups. From our friend Dave. <laughs> from our good friend Dave. Um, these are from the game Cuphead, which well, we can talk about that later. But it is one of the most difficult games I have ever played in my life, and, and I've played a lot of games. The art is so saying. enticing; it's like it you want to play this game, and you will die immediately. And you will die immediately every single time, and to the point where you will throw the controller down and never want to pick it up you, again. I think you fought with a carrot for an afternoon, didn't you? At least several days. <laughs> so anyway, we, we can cheers. say hi to everyone too. Hmm goodness there we go well let me see if i can get our um our list up here on another screen i'm not sure if this okay. is going to work or not but uh no we're just going to go down the list and say hi and it's going to be out that. of order we may repeat things but you know oh wow so um <laughs> brickman mosaics art is here Chris Twixmas, Twixmas Chalice, Chalice, and Jaden. <laughs> WGJL builds moto is here uh, let's see. That is a long conversation between them. Rob Zaccardi and the Zaccardis, Lana, Vanessa, and Elena. Merry Christmas. We saw you got shared uh, by Lego yesterday on the um, the Build Lego Build Day, which was yesterday. And That's you, so you cool. tagged it, and they actually like um, and responded and featured you guys, which was so cool. I thought. Um, hey, Iceberg Bricks is here. I, oh, Iceberg Mel is here. Mel, how's it going? Uh, Mini Fig Chick is here oh my goodness uh oh gosh going through the list the oh, jimmy bricker jimmy bricker pt McEwen, wgjl builds hey how's it going um let's see uh oh my goodness we go matthew builds bricks is here john, john Latrell. Latrell. hello everyone remy baker remy baker monica berry uh hooded one is here debo bricks uh, let me see. Fabu fan MKE. This is this is now we're getting into the like everybody's showing up. The Cowboy early. Cornado. Oh boy, howdy. Oh boy, howdy. Um, let's see. James Ducky Wendell, who we said hello to before, is here. Um, gosh, who else? Um, that pretty much takes us to oh, the end of the chat. Right? Beskar Bricks is here. Johnny Cat. Hey, Johnny. How's hey, Johnny. Um, I know we've got a few people over on uh, on the Facebooks because mm -hmm. we're doing we're doing Facebook uh, today as well. Um, so yes, very excited. Oh, Kevin Ader is excited about your Cuphead Cup. It's pretty oh, awesome, cool, right? Yeah. I gotta say. And, I didn't and they have come them. with actually, like this one comes with a sort of, looks like they a straw, but a it's little a straw. straw. Yeah, it's pretty good. They're pretty cute, but, um, yeah, so. Thanks, Dave. Can't fill, <laughs> fill these up or we won't be able to sit still. Yes, yes. Mm. Oh, and there's a name I don't recognize. It's um, Phil, Phil Carlton. Don and Phil here. Don built the super tall lamp post and nutcracker. Oh, oh right. Very cool. cool. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, Phil and Don. Um, let's see. Iceberg Ricks uh, is going to be, uh, is actually doing the same thing we're doing right now and doing motos 
car, the, oh, yeah, the, the interceptor. interceptor. He was the other luckier re recipient. So I know they're like golden tickets. Yes, <laughs> they are. They're they are totally the golden tickets of, <laughs> of the Lego Christmas season right now. There's only two, but I'm waiting for the factory tour of um the the moto the moto factory but hopefully none of us go down of the moto dojo <laughs> moto dojo <laughs> the motivate the motivation station well, i'm not sure up, we can come up, up with in, a lot instead of, of going down the chocolate river you get like tumbled in the dryer <laughs> <laughs> So we'd best be good kids. Oh my goodness, we are in we are in rare. We're form. cheerful. Can you tell? Rare form. So uh, so okay, oh, I Maraid is here. Hi, Maraid. Good to see you. Um, you know what we've been doing since um, yesterday is D and D. We're oh, so after D &D. after an epic adventure that lasted seventy some odd seventy two play sessions all with, starting in March with all these same characters. Um, we finished that epic adventure and we're starting on a new one. And um, our new our, characters our back friend, at level one. Yep. Our friend Lisa, the DM, has come up with an amazing new adventure. And, ooh, and we're super excited. Your sister's here. Oh, hi, Michelle. Michelle. Hi, yep. Michelle. How's it going? You may not have seen Michelle <laughs> on the chat before. There's my little sister. Well, she's two years younger than me. Michelle <laughs> That's so awesome. We've had, and there's your. Um, you got to do your, uh, there's your bingo card for family member family in the chat. Family member. So there you go. <laughs> How fun. Well, um, let's see. So we've got. Uh, oh, we, we have pins today, right? Yeah, we go figure. Well, we, I'm sure our guests do too. So why don't we actually invite our guests on who are here? Okay. Um, it is the um, incomparable Moto. Moto is having uh, uh is <laughs> definitely having his thing over. Wait, let's get that. I want to see that. No, put it back up again because I got to put you on the big screen. Whoever. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Moto. And um, oh, now, do we have audio for Moto? Do we hear? We Moto? should. He hasn't said. Yeah, me. yeah. I just haven't been speaking. There right he on. is. And also. Minifig chick, Ooh. Cara is here. Hi, Cara. Oh, you're eating cookies. <laughs> Breakfast of champions. Breakfast. Well, I I gotta say, the um, that was um, well, like, uh, sorry, Moto's uh, Moto's sign and everything was like, uh, of course, a callback to your amazing uh entry into our uh, when we were doing our halloween hangover show <laughs> yeah. Yeah. unfortunately unfortunately all the wrapping paper was at the bottom of the recycle bin or i was gonna get some out and try to wrap myself but it was too it was too oh, far was down awesome. yeah oh Moto, look yeah. at this look what small art director gave me yeah he loves your shirt i love that too yeah i have I a thought because you guys love the x-men i figured i'd wear the x-men shirt i got very oh, good really? yeah awesome oh and holly says she's waiting for her laptop to to boot so there oh, you and go she'll be cool. right on the way <laughs> <laughs> well we seem to have weathered the the at least the some of the biggest storms of the holidays right mm -hmm. right and just all the meals and the food and as cara attests we've got sweets around too they're calling to me right now oh my goodness i so got much. chocolate for christmas so I much. Know. Yeah, I'm alternating so between a sugar rush and a sugar hangover, like every two hours, maybe. I'm trying to meter it out. We put a lot of it away. Well, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Yeah, when you say that we put a lot of it away, I just want to show you what that means. In, inside oh, your so stomach. Like, this. Oh my goodness. Is the danger bag. Whoa. <laughs> Gosh. There's. A, the, yeah. This yeah. Is, no, I'm thinking we got to make this as my sister can attest because. She actually, I'll, I'm going to rat out my sister here a little bit. When we were little kids, uh -oh. I ate a lot of candy, right? And so she would save up Christmas candy or Easter or Halloween candy, and then she had leverage <laughs> so she could trade for things she wanted me to do. So now we have lots wow. and lots of candy. Now we have lots because my husband can't just get one bag of gummy, you know, something lifesavers for the stocking. There's like seven bags well, of <laughs> lifesaver gummies okay, in, in fairness, every flavor. They seemed like they were little bags. 
but so we wow. can they have a shelf life of forty thousand years. They have a half life actually. So we well, can put I mean, them aside and they'll be they are them. small compared to that, I suppose. It's all relative. So you have you are quarantine <clears throat> quarantine hoarding the gummies is what I'm getting yes. from that. Well, well, you know, we eat vegetables too. I'm gonna go I'm gonna I'm gonna go hand them out to people, I think maybe that's gonna have okay. to all have right. To what I wanna know though is have you tried the gummies I gave you? I haven't no, tried those those are the super too, special ones. We haven't tried those yet. I'm saving I'm saving I'm them for you. Those are the best. They're they the best. say the world's best on them. They are the world's best. Okay, so you're claiming that these yes. are better than these. I am. Mm. The Ooh, gold I, standard. I, speaking as a lifelong gummy bear lover. Okay. All right. We, this is a challenge. Well, I, All I right. Think we're going to do a blind taste test. Not right now. Yeah. <laughs> Although maybe that was there. There we go. There's something for the oh, show. And the Hornburgers say that gummy should always be gifted by the kilo. I agree. I agree. <laughs> I wish, I wish oh, we could oh, get oh, the oh, gummy. Nick is here. How's it going? Oh, you make wow. me want to go upstairs gummy and grab babies. the gummy gift that my son got. It's incredible. It's a gigantic so many, T-Rex so gummy. Much like gummies. This big. <laughs> so many gummies. Yes, a heated debate about gummies. There's going to be a full, you know, it's going to be. Oh, so, the things we talk yeah, about. Low chart. So, okay, so pins. Does anybody have pins? I know we do. Oh. Um, uh, we'll go I first. Need... Yeah, we'll, we'll go, go first. first. I'll just okay. go with the classic one you guys got me. I have... From um, from Mini Fig Chick and Paint Pusher, this awesome rocket. Here, let me see if I can um, get it to focus in there. There you go. Check that out. Awesome. And then, thanks, Mini Fig Chick and Paint Pusher. I got an awesome haunted house. I don't know if it will. Oh, there it goes. So cool. And I love it's got like vines growing out of the trees and everything. So I am super psyched about so that. And there. with two, um, it's got two, two backs, two backs. So it's a, you know, it's a hefty pen when it's got two. Yeah, Jeff McElwee, don't you think? Those are great. Hey, pens. Jeff McElwee, how's it going? Good to see you. Jeff so McElwee. I'm, I'm gonna try and attach this it's on there nice. without putting too many holes. Here we go. All what right. Do you think, Mini Fig Chick? Do you have a pen? I do. I just put on the dots bracelet. Okay. Oh, awesome moto. Yep. What, what just... that is some what kind of question is that? Does Mini Fig Chick have a pin? <laughs> oh, you're kidding. Okay, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> All right, so my new pins are over there in the corner and I can't get to it because I'm buried under Lego build right now. But <laughs> <laughs> but my favorite silly symphony, I have you know, I collect oh. all of the skeleton dance pins and, and memorabilia. So here's another the very That's first really nice. pin like your amazing mock of the same subject oh and and actually so speaking of pins i got to say we also um, from our friend dave um, who was a prolific, a prolific gift, gift giver i must say we got a pack of villains pins nice. which we will be Ooh. of course wearing on the show at some point or another um, oh, and it looks like we have another Look guest with is. us, everybody. Um, it's Holly. Holly, Holly. Is here. Oh, Hi. Holly. Holly. How's it going? Good. I had to clean up a little bit. It was disastrous in here. I couldn't oh, even get no to my problem. table. Yeah. No problem. Hey, Aubrey Kovach is here. Hey, Aubrey. I like your you? shirt. It's really stepping up. Oh. Well, you'll you'll notice this camera doesn't pan around, right? Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. No, you should have seen. Okay, so after um, after Wednesday's show, I hung out with Moto, and I hung out a little bit after the show, and we're chatting. And Richard had gone back to work, and poor thing, he could not get like in and out of his office door because there were just boxes oh, and true. wrapping paper like piled <laughs> high. And I finally went and like organized everything and got it back. Um, and I just, I gotta say, well, I want to say again, thank you everyone for all of your, your kind gifts and things that you sent us. And, um, there was so much, we had like so much fun stuff. We were showing things off to our families all weekend. Aww. Um, and, uh, yeah, and there was we're going to some... build a bunch of it on the show and we have stickers to share. Yeah, we have, so we have all the nice stuff going on. But um, but before we get to the um, Christmas breakdown, let's go. Oh, it looks like Holly's got a pin. Oh yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Holly, I got a pin what you got? 
It's Whoa. from um, Galaxy's Edge. I, I, I'm pretty sure. Or it could be Star Wars Celebration. I can't remember. But there was somewhere where you put your name into like a machine and then it, it I don't know, whatever. Oh, your name in, in right. Alienese. Yeah, whatever <laughs> weird language that is. Yeah. So <laughs> galactic standard or something like that. Sure, yeah. Very good, very good. And you know, a funny thing, whenever I see stuff like that, it's like, oh, okay, the machine printed it out. I have to imagine that a designer spent days coming up with a new alphabet mm -hmm. that all the vowels would work. Oh, of course. People take people take classes yes. in Klingon. Yeah. So I mean, why not? Yeah, it's, right? it, I guess it's called Arabesh. Good well, and, and okay. oh, right on. Mother. Didn't I someone there was we probably... all know um, mm -hmm. do the Elvish runes at the beginning of Lord of the Rings when they were a younger person? Oh, I did actually. <laughs> it was from, I used the tables in the Silmarillion to translate the maps in the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings. The Snormillion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, okay, well, I think actually it is time uh, for a little special feature. Here we go, everybody. It is. Sticker set show and tell. Sticker set show and tell. All right, we're going to kick off with uh, sticker sets today. Anybody? Where shall yeah. we? Okay, we'll do, well, we'll do our. Oh, Kari, you ready? I have one, yep. All right, that. there we go. All right, so I picked up another play cube, jungle oh, play nice. cube store yesterday. This one came with the adorable yellow monkey. Yes, Ooh. yellow monkey. And I, I've been collecting monkeys of all sorts um, for our Baylug um, jungle collaborative build that we're debuting in 2021. That will be fun. So the stickers that came with it, I particularly oh. like particularly like the uh, banana peel. <laughs> yes, the banana peel is great. <laughs> well, there's a banana and the peel. Exactly. Very nice. And and we're seeing we're seeing turquoise and coral a lot more lately. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, definitely. And I like the cute little camp scene. That just I think it's adorable. It's very oh, appealing. Goodness. Doesn't it seem like it seems like <laughs> I'm waiting other for that. hot dogs? Bananas are the number one fruit in Lego or food in Lego world. I guess you can have a chicken leg. Or yeah. I don't know. There's a lot yeah. of sausage. There's a lot of sausage to compete with. Yeah, it's, it's true. true. It's okay. true. I don't know. Okay. Carrots are on the PAB wall, so I think carrots probably would take over. Oh, oh we yes. got a ton of carrots. It's true. Yeah. Okay, who's next for stickers? I can I can start to show you what my sticker will be. Oh, so this, definitely. Show us. This is a, yeah, this is a VIP gifting <laughs> set. One of those? Oh, yes. And evidently it contains one sticker set. So I'm going to open this up and see what it is. Oh, oh very yeah. cool. So you can come back to me after right I've got here. this all done. I'm unboxing right here on our very own show. My oh, goodness. In, you can go to Holly or whatnot as I cut this open. And <laughs> oh, okay. Play. Holly, why don't we go? There you okay. go. I was just looking up the set number because I have no idea where this came from. I'm assuming it's a Marvel set or something. And the DC set. Okay. It's, all the Lego food. it's from 76028 Dark Side Invasion. Ooh, whoa. Yeah. Lots of white on there. Yeah, there's some cool shapes. And yeah, you don't see a lot panels. of like, all white stickers much. They seem to be very computer, colorful. Computer panels and stuff are always cool to have. Very That's nice. Cool. Lots of lots of abstract lines that would be yeah, great. For, think, are this. these are these clear? I was trying to, no, they're on white. I was hoping that they were clear. Well, let's but it's see. Never shiny. It's shiny. That gray is like a shiny silver. So that's cool. Oh, oh, nice. It is silver. Very mm -hmm. cool. Bring a lot of light. <clears> that's cool. All. Nice. Oh, Kim is here. Is there Kino? Ahoy, hoy, Kim. Good to see you. Oh, now we can start. <laughs> now the party can start. Now it's for reals. All right, Moto, you did you what did you discover what was inside there? Yeah. There's a, a card, which is awesome card, ribbons of which I didn't realize is cloth ribbon. That's very mm -hmm. sweet. And then the stickers. Yep. Nice. Oh, very Christmassy. Nice stickers. Someone was talking about a creepy monkey, and I do kind of I think it's an elf. 
Yeah, but it's creepy. Yeah, I thought it was a pig. I guess it is a monkey. It I is, don't know. It's, it's, it's a little terrifying. Elf. It's an elf monkey thing. It's or using it. those like um those cookie tiles for eyes, the like the jelly cookies. <laughs> I think it's a Sith Yoda. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever it is, it's terrifying. It is open to interpretation, is what that is. Open to, yeah, open to the interpretation. The is my favorite. And uh, hey, Luke Solorzano, how's it going? Like Welcome. A, it's like a yeah. psych test. Like, what do you see here? <laughs> <laughs> Lego Rorschach. Oh my goodness. I think it it follows you around the room. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want to see one of those life size. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What have we got? Okay. We've got that one. Orange on the bottom. Oh, orange on the bottom. Okay. And this is from, from Joel Marbella. This was... He said no, this no. For... This is Cornado. Oh, it's Cornado. Sorry, sorry, Joel. We have a separate one. This is from Cornado. Sorry about that. We'll be showing them all eventually. Thanks, Cornado. Well, this is... Um, why don't we show everyone? Okay. So this is from 2011. It's um, set 7962. Uh, it's 17 by 10 studs large, and it's Star Wars Episode One. What? Um, really? Yep, Star Whoa. Wars Episode One: Anakin and Sebulba's Pod Racers. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it came with 792 parts and five figures, including Anakin, young Obi Wan. And then um, three, uh, well, I'll call them aliens, uh, Sebulba, Wald, and Watto. I have to say, I wouldn't have guessed that. I like I the yellow. That. Anakin's like Pod the... Racer, no? Yeah. I like the yellow stickers on top. They look elven. Yeah, yeah. they have a cool, yeah, they've got like, like cool little runes on them, you know. Oh, yeah. I never would have guessed that. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't have either. Well, well I, I mean. This is Pod know. Racing. Hey, Rick Brickham, how's it going? Welcome, and Merry Christmas to you as well. Good to see you here. We are uh, we are just finishing up with a sticker set show and tell and getting ready to move into the Christmas show and tell portion of the show. <laughs> okay. or the, you know, the ho holiday, uh, holiday things. So yes. did you get everything that you wanted? Did you get everything that you had hoped and dreamed for 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 uh for, for all, all the, the holidays. holidays. I did. I have a gift here that I think is exceptional. I wanted to show you guys. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> wow. Splatchy is... Wow. You look so much clearer. <laughs> That's right. We got to celebrate Splashy's birthday. <laughs> oh, my gosh. My dad would... would... <laughs> That is so hilarious. <laughs> so, but um, yeah, when it, I ordered, I ordered, I I tried to find some sort of sticker sheet or something on Amazon, and there was this monster sticker sheet set. And <laughs> I was so like, funny. I was like, I gotta, I gotta have the upgraded pet water. Well, <laughs> you know, Mono, my sister, who's, my sister Michelle, who's on the chat right now, um, was the other owner of Pet Water, and and for um, I had made blue Pet Water, and she, I don't know, maybe she was six, made pink Pet Water, and we each had our own. So here it is, the future of Pet Water. Oh, well, now the future, the future is now. You're gonna have to cut her in. She's gonna have to get her ten <laughs> percent. Yeah, get have to get her ten percent royalties for. <laughs> yeah, the future of Pet Water is here. <laughs> Now you just need you need like a little a little like name tag for it. A little wow. color. Splashy. 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 Is I, I was gonna say like Clicky is gonna be getting jealous soon. Splashy's mm. kind of the new um, you know, the new cute yeah. I won't he's say a little he's definitely Splashy is definitely not the uh the cousin Oliver, but uh definitely like the um you know the, the new Splashy the do. <laughs> Splashy do. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh my goodness. So, um, well, let's see. We know what Moto was doing over the holidays. Um, <laughs> well, I'll show, you, I'll show you one thing that I'm uh, I'm working on now. We'll sort of like I'll sprinkle ours throughout. But... While you're while you're pulling that out, I'm just thinking. We just saw the the Harry Potter movie where Hermione has a time turner, so she gets to go to all the classes at once. Oh, I yeah. think Moto. Oh. As a time turner. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. This Maybe. is uh, again, yes. the Monster Book of Monsters 
so excited about this. I gotta say, I no, was, and, and it's got great stickers as well. Oh, and the Monster Book of Monsters was in that. And same it was movie. in that same movie. So, hey, my friend Marco is here. Hi, Marco. Uh, I had the uh, the. I was fortunate enough to go uh, down to Brazil and be in a theatrical production uh, down there, and. Um, and Marco was uh, a friend that I met down there. He's uh, oh, awesome, awesome, great guys. He's all the way down there in Brazil. Uh, awesome. With our, that's our second Brazil uh, friend who yep. is uh, who comes to see the show. It's our friend Dan. Um, but yeah, so it look. I'll show you. I've already started putting it together, and oh, it the, actually. The so here's like the, the guts of the inside of it. Wow. Oh, it has a rolling gear. It's cool. got wheels and cams on it oh and then um when it um so uh, when it rolls when you it's roll it, the little mouth opens and closes so all right it, I, have it, it, have it I wish it did because that would be awesome um <laughs> so that's that when i'm having a hard time opening because it was so hard to get <laughs> what was that i said i'm having a hard time opening that one because it was so hard to get yeah, well mm. i understand now it's going to be um uh mm -hmm. It's going to be a giveaway in January. Okay, good. I had heard that oh, rumor as well, so I was kind of waiting to get my hands on another one before I busted that one open. Oh, one of those in-store giveaways? Yeah, so mm -hmm. I think yeah, I think it's going to be like $75 or more or something like that. You'll right. get it. It should it, be but... easy. So <laughs> I know. So basically, buy a keychain and you get <laughs> You always uh, have to add a keychain, though. You have to add a keychain to get to that, like... Round yeah, exactly. Okay, your total is seventy three ninety nine. How <laughs> <laughs> they get you? Oh, now, Joel Marbella so, points out that that money right, Goomba. Harry Potter stuff. Well, not to change the subject, and this is totally non Lego, but this was another one of my favorites it's in my stocking from Richard, and I know uh, Joel will appreciate this. I know Holly. Well, I'm and and Cara, but. I got um, oh. a werewolf from Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes. Oh, oh my god, I'm in love. I know yeah. I love her so much. I love her uh. so much. She's so awesome. Oh, that's so cool. That I, have a, I have an I have an ornament of like that that's hanging on my tree. <laughs> well, I love that he's busting out of his shirt. Yeah, and you oh, know. Yeah. Of, that of course makes me think of um, of Susan Holly with the busted yeah. with the vest with the fur <laughs> coming out. Um, now all I gotta do is borrow a Moto's wolf head and put it on top of Susan. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a weird mashup. That would be a weird oh, mashup. Moraitis right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Moraitis says he. That'd be an awesome mashup. I think you're right. That is definitely a loner. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness well okay so anybody else i mean we've got other stuff too but i, I figure we'll spread it around let's see oh. what our what our hauls for for this is and it looks like um joel marbella has been hanging out in the leica store as well oh very good i think yeah there's been some discussion there of what's going on in the leica store yep oh you got the star wars <laughs> now yep. I, you know, so you're not friend, really a Star Wars person, I know, but this was I'm because not. of why. Tell us the story. Okay, so actually, just Drew uh, got this for us. He's like, I know you're not into Lego, but I really like the Banthas. Star, Star Wars. Did you know not into Lego? Lego into Star Wars. Into Star Wars. Into Star Wars. Sorry. <laughs> so, but this turns out that this is actually totally perfect because Joel and I have been talking about taking a Bantha as a base to rebuild into Mr. Snuffleupagus for I Assassin's like Creed. Yes. 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 That's awesome. An awesome band. They're using those cut corner um, one by two angle pieces down here at the bottom. So he's nice and shaggy. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. That right? is yeah, I love those pieces. So, yeah, and that ledge piece for the mouth is really, you know, I wouldn't have thought of that. That's great. It is really clever. Obviously, the head is going to have to totally change, you know. Yeah. This was our. We got this from. This was our our gift from Drew. Yay! One of them. One. Oh, yeah. Hi. It's a two-in-one. Not only does it build this crazy truck, but also. Oh, like a race I, car. I'm going to say it's a Formula racer. I'm a little ignorant about racing, but I love the look of race cars. And. 
Well, gosh, well, I don't know. So did you get your other package yet from, from Drew? No, no, it's supposed to be here tomorrow. Okay, well, then I'm not going to show no, this because it'll secret. give it away. I don't want to okay, give it yes. away yet. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Um, yeah, cool. And speaking of tomorrow, by the way, while we're paused, oh. tomorrow, everyone, um, we have Lego designer Mel Caddick on the show. Uh, we're going to be doing an interview, hang out with her and Holly tomorrow. Uh, we'll be doing this format again here on StreamYard because it seems to work out nicely for that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but she's going to be here talking about the various sets she's designed, which include uh, Winter Village sets and also a lot of the exclusive giveaway sets. Including a bunch of animals, right? Uh, so she's done some animals. There was the the, uh, the Toys R Us uh, micro uh, buildings that the, the series, and she's also done a bunch of the exclusive lego house models uh and lego did. land too uh yeah not of sorry not of lego house but she did the the the, the bill and airport is one that she uh that she did and some of the mm. other ones so yeah definitely uh there's uh sets that she's designed and if you have adva questions in advance which you know we always like to have questions in advance you can sell the uh, sell those you can send those to trickylug at gmail.com so we have those um before that and then on wednesday um and i'm i know i'm just i am putting you all on the spot right now you don't have to answer but wednesday we're going to be doing our 2020 retrospective show which is really sort of like our entire, entire show retrospective, retrospective show <laughs> um and we're hoping that y'all can be here for that uh on wednesday if possible same same time same channel you know the drill uh, so if you can, we're going to actually also, I'm going to try to invite some other people on uh, who've been on during the year. What's well, funny, I, I'm trying to be careful because, of course, our 200th show is coming up in just oh, yeah. about a month, a month and a half. So I don't want to, like, you know, like, do too much now and then not have anything for the 200th episode. But I still think it will be yeah. fun to kind of... Uh, kind of look back at what, what you know, kind of what we've achieved since the beginning of 2020 and uh, like all, you know, talk about some of the different things. Yeah, so. well, it might be that thing where you're like, you're trying to get that plate off, trying to get it off and you're using the brick separator and it comes off and it smacks me in the head and then I go into a dream <laughs> sequence where we see clip from all of the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, we'll see what I can get together. I don't know if the clip show is going to happen. No, I'm just kidding. That's going to take some prep. And I'm thinking, though, that for the 200th show, yeah. we definitely need to do some kind of um, some kind of clip thing. Yeah, so yeah. Maybe Start it off. some people. Start it off in black and white, and then you get hit with the plate, and then everything is color. <laughs> and all, and, all their family members are different characters. They're all. And then Moto was there, and Kara was there. <laughs> Mini Moto was there. there. Thunder, there. Thunder there. Man was there. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. Okay. So let's con let's continue on our uh, our tour of. Uh, the holiday. fabulous holiday gifts. Holly, you have something to share? Uh, yeah, I got I got a bunch of cool stuff. Um, I got I got the bookshop. So Yay. Um, Yay. Store. Yay. Yeah. I'm so thrilled. That. Um, <laughs> that, that was definitely on my wish list and the Lego store employees came through for me like right there at the end. Oh, by the way, if I sounded just a teensy bit bitter right then, it's because that <laughs> was my thing that I was going to get for Holly for Christmas, and then she got it anyway. He was so, so. mad. He was so <laughs> mad. It's like, what are you doing? Getting presents for yourself right before Christmas. I, was <laughs> I did. I <laughs> did. <laughs> I can't push your yells at me when I buy things, too. Um, okay. How many two by four black bricks does it take to make a lump of coal? <laughs> <laughs> Not many. And then, uh, what else have you got there? Um, and then I got, let's see, Eric also got me um, these very cool uh, light kits. So I've got oh, uh, wow. one, for the, nice. one for the cantina and one for the bat wing. So oh, that was your nice. oh, cool. Awesome. Very, very cool. Yeah, he's very clever because it's like, what do you get for the girl that has all the Lego, right? So he got me like, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. That's exactly. That's, that's brilliant. That's the and trouble then, I had with, um, you know, a lot of my 
most of my friends, um, uh, and especially of course here, are big Lego collectors and they have everything and they're, you know, so trying to pick things that like, and I, even Moto, who has about a thousand hobbies, it's impossible to know like exactly what like someone does and doesn't have for their uh, various hobbies. But right. yeah, we- Well, uh, hooded, hooded one wants to see the big one. So hang on a second. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Hey, Moto, are you there or are you frozen? Uh-oh. Uh, it's intermittent. It's intermittent in and Got out. It. Okay. It's, it's a little bit of a hiccup. You wanted to see this right here? Yes, um, I was going to say something, yes. but I didn't know if it was a secret. No, yeah. So I think this is what they wanted to see. Oh, wow. Ooh. Yeah. What is that? Uh, so it's, it's, a, Solo and it's, a, it's a proof sheet. So, so these oh, okay. are what the printer will send um, for you to get approved before they before they run the whole production for, for the packaging. I didn't know they were collectible. I didn't know that was a proof sheet. Wow. Yeah, proof sheet. Can we see it one more time? Holly? What? I thought that was a set. I mean, it is, but it's a, it's the proof sheet before, before the packaging gets made. No, the proof the sheets set. are, holy. Wow. That's, 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 like, so getting, that's cool. like getting a, yeah, that's like getting the, um, the uh, animation uh, cells from a, from a yeah, film. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is art. This is this is why it's framed and hanging on my wall. <laughs> yeah, very, <laughs> very, very cool. cool. Yeah, nice. So, Holy. and the first thing is, is actually he got that for me last Christmas, but because we were in the middle of moving and this was all in disarray, um, it ended up kind of going into like an archival drawer. And oh. I had been, I had been asking. I left a place on the wall for it and had been asking him to like get it framed and to hang it for me and. So that was actually the Christmas present was that he had finally framed it. So oh, it was like, cool. okay, now it's a Christmas present. <laughs> so previously it was a it was a chore. Now it's a Christmas present. <laughs> have you compared it to the actual box to see if there are any changes made from the proofing? Uh, I could look because I I'm almost positive I have that set somewhere. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see if there was a change that they caught. It would. Yeah, be. I'm not going to go dig for it, but. Um, because this couldn't, oh, you're right, man. this could have been a throwaway. Maybe that's why, you know, it got discarded because it wasn't approved or something. But yeah. Wow, it's it great. You have such a beautiful build space, um, sort of woman cave. <laughs> you know, it's, I mean, it's like you do all your building there, but it's a really beautiful. Holly doesn't have a cave, wow. she has a lair. It is, it's my Lego lair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Joel says he can't wait to visit the Walkman Museum when the yeah. Corona ends. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit like a, it is a bit like a museum. It's you our, have to sell admission. Yeah, yeah price, that, like a lot, price of admission. especially when we're showing our stuff. Like when we do, um, when we're showing our stuff on a uh, um, thing from the crypt. I'm always like, God, we should be charging admission at some point. <laughs> yeah, and just like set it up and uh, charge admission. Glenn and, and Richard's cabinet of curiosities. There you go. Yeah. yeah. That's my friend Billy's uh, store. If you guys are ever, in, if any of you guys are ever in Portland, and you get a chance to, mm. you're going to go down to the Powell's Bookstore, which is in downtown Portland, because that's like yep. the thing you do when you go to Portland. And just across the street from Powell's is Billy Galaxy, which is our friend Billy's um, vintage toy shop. And you know, you go we heard about it when we were there, but we were wow. buy stuff. Yeah, we just weren't Very able hurried. to. Yeah, we, as you know, we had kind of a whirlwind tour. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so. And I gotta say, personally, I feel like even though I missed, you know, Billy Galaxy and the bookstore, we got to tour Leica, and that was is like about thirty-five steps above, like <laughs> any of those other things. So I was uh, totally okay with our choices. Yeah, that was that's like. I mean, that's like working in a museum, basically. Yeah, there you go. My mind, I would lose my mind. Cool. Yeah. So we have um, some a couple a couple more things to show. So first of all, our friend Dave once again. So, Dave, I can't get over him. He's just, he's one of those people where he, he doesn't do anything small. No, that's <laughs> ever. Like, like there's Mondo? nothing small. Like he doesn't cook a tray of muffins. He cooks like 35 trays of muffins. Oh, okay. wow. 15 different types. Yeah. And then, yeah. And like a whole bunch man. of different types. And so, so you know the yeah, muffin, so man. He got us <laughs> the, um, the villain pins, the, the monster book of monsters. He got us a, um, the the giveaway uh, the Scrooge thing that we're super happy about. Um, 
Yeah, that was exciting. Hey, you know what? Then you get a lump of coal from me because that was in your box. That was getting. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! We'll trade. There you go. New thing, coal. That's our next belt challenge: design but, the perfect lump of coal and ship yeah, it to someone. Yeah. He also he also <laughs> goes to our local bricks and minifigs and helps them, like do, you know, like sort of like separate things, and he runs oh, yeah, across. Sort of some fun stuff and some and he does it for trade so he gets to find some <gasps> stuff but check out some of these awesome bits oh, cool i mean first of all yeah here's the, if the whole you... bag of things that he thought you would oh. like oh. chrome cones printed um here i'll pull a couple of pieces no i forgot them. do you have a skylight in your apartment check this out <laughs> yeah Oh, that's okay. cool. Look at that. Oh, and check cheers. out wow. these two one by four printed control panels. So mm -hmm. like super Ooh. 80s style. Yeah, that's Star Wars. And of nice. course, like anything Star. Chrome immediately makes me think of Jake Sadovich. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh man. man. Right? Really, Nabu. really, really cool stuff. Wow. And then this, I guess, I guess it's a sort of a telescope satellite but it comes yeah. with a lens in it yeah that Ooh. was that was the telescope in that city space set that they put yeah oh, that's the yeah. magnifying really lens. Fun. Mm -hmm. and then he's like oh and then here's some other stuff I whoa <laughs> what? <laughs> wow he doesn't do anything smaller dave but there's a i see there's a fabuland window in there um and like I think going through balloon the pieces and yeah, like he's a great builder. And I think going through bulk brick is a major portion of his hobby enjoyment. Like he really likes searching for those treasures. Right. Well, he's all, and so he's also helping out the store by when they get stuff in, if he finds a, um, a set, if he finds a set, he's like, Oh, the pieces of the set are in here. And then he gathers all the pieces and builds it for them. So that they oh, wow. can then, you know, and then so that they can then sell it. So he's been putting together. He just showed me a, a bulk that they just got in. He's been putting together the green grocer, um, oh. like a lot of the Monster original Finder modulars, Haunted Monster Finders haunted house. Like just finding all. And he said it was literally like somebody took their collection and just went like this with the building and threw it in. And the way he knew what they were was because the base plates were in there. That still had the, um, oh, the like all the the tiles and like the outlines of the buildings. So he was able to figure out like what those were. But yeah, Dang. amazing, really fun, fun parts there. So I was actually just realizing something the other day um, because my my so a lot of those like really cool like early collectible sets like the early modulars and a lot of stuff that came out in 0809 that I couldn't buy at that time because I had a baby. Well now she's almost 13 and she's getting to that age, you know, where a lot of kids like grow out of their Lego and people are getting rid of them. And so I'm kind of sitting here thinking, oh man, it's just around the corner before we're at that time where a lot of those sets are essentially like the kids are getting over them that bought them, you know, uh, 13, yeah. 12, 13 years ago. I'm like, Ooh, in just a couple more years, we might start seeing a lot more of those secondhand. Uh, yeah, you very you very well may. I mean, yeah. that's how I got most of our Monster Fighter stuff was like that. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You just get away for the kids to be tired of it. Exactly. <laughs> you know, somewhere there's and a they're website. friends and they're friends. Yeah, you know, there's a website where someone created a table on the latency of Lego sets. All the curves over that. time. That could be yeah. useful. Am I about right? <laughs> yeah. So anybody, uh, anybody else? Have I have a uh, yeah. I grabbed a couple of my son's gifts that we're putting okay. together. Uh, the first up. one. This Ooh. one was fun. The reason the reason my son got this as a gift is because of that that yeah. figure oh, right cool. there. Oh. Yeah. Hey, look at that! Jory Engel is here and Brian Berkovitz. Hey, man, how's it going? Good to see yeah. you. Hope you had happy holidays, all of you. Very but cool. Super, we can see people on Facebook now. Super nice fun little build. And then nice sand motor. green. That's a great reason to get a set, right? You want that <laughs> one key piece. Yeah. The yeah. cute hamster, yeah. Uh, the, I also got, I put together the ruler just because I thought it would be cool. Oh, oh. nice. I haven't seen that. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, it was, okay. it was, it's one of those ones where it was discounted. And I wanted to get the free tchotchke, like you guys say. 
Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was. I think I was nine dollars short. So the very rose nice over the top. And then the big, the big, the big set he got um, this year. And this is one for both of us. Oh, you got the new Mindstorm That's set. That's so exciting. Wow, how fun. I can't wait to hear all about it. We can talk differences. That's going to be... Yeah, cool. it's it's really interesting. We just got started about halfway through um, building the first bot and getting it programmed and working. But oh, so, far, so far, it's pretty crazy. And it has a new programming language, right? It has yeah, Spike. Scratch. 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 Yeah. Well, well I think um, Spike, that's a language too, isn't well, it? Well, no, Spike was the education set that had it. I know. I know. Oh, I understand. So, oh, yeah, we got, oh. So real quick, before we move on, everybody, it is that, it is that special time of the day um, for, our, for our very special guest. So everybody, please welcome to the stream. Here he is, Skittles. Yay. Logan and Skittles. <laughs> I, I know he knows that song. Though. And a yellow monkey and Splashy. <laughs> here, let's give a little bit of. Uh, here we got to. Oh no, he's gonna give some water. We to have splashy. to give him his. Uh... Yay! Logan has to have his close up, Mr. Demille. Here you get one more little. Here you get a little one. All right, say hi to everyone. Hi, Logan. Yay! <laughs> and it's Skittle Snuggle time. <laughs> Skittles Aww. is really a puppet, everyone. It's so Skittles is really a puppet. Yeah. Holly's other arm is actually a fake arm. The other arm is controlling the puppet. <laughs> <laughs> it's so realistic. Skittles wants nap time. <laughs> And it looks like uh, did you? Is Splashy is getting um, a, a refill. <laughs> no wonder. Just, just, just top, topping Splashy off. <laughs> Spl splashy evaporates over time, so you have to keep your you have to keep your pet water hydrated. Great <laughs> car. Then you got a yellow. Oh, and of course a banana. A banana. Very good. <laughs> All right, everybody. That was Logan. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love that song. I love Splashy. I love that song. All about Splashy. So, okay, so um, let's see, where were we in the roundup? Uh, Cara, were you ready for round two? I'm ready for round two. All right, let's see what you got. So, since I already. You know, we went over this the other day. I, I've already bought all of the Lego. But <laughs> I arranged a trade with Flynn and... Hey, Paula Applegate. I arranged a trade with Flynn and Richard for something that um, Paint Pusher's son wants. And so I had to go to the store and buy it, which helped me get my coveted ice Yay. skating rink, which I am Yay. building right here. The rink. Yeah, I know you were very excited about that. I'm glad I'm we could help in excited. some way. <laughs> That is awesome. I think that's one of Mel's, actually. I think Mel did that set. Oh, and what, I think you're right. Oh, did you? I think yeah, you're I think right. So. And what did you get for me for our trade? Um, it's it's sitting over there in the corner, but it's the Sesame Street. Yay! Yay! I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I actually had to go. I guess I could consider Sesame Street a Christmas present, too, because I had to go get another one because it's just such a good parts pack <laughs> yeah it is it is They're like half of that set the parts and half half of the parts in that set are unique to that set well really? if you want to get rid of any of the minifigures yes <laughs> all right so we he, and so we got a um this is from actually from Kara and robert this was i think so Kara made a an awesome bricks and pieces order Right, but then something went wrong, and yeah, it got duplicated, oddly. <laughs> so they sent you two, and we, oh. we benefited. We, we benefited from this, so we got. Um, I'll show you. It's a bag of pieces. Like there's a, you know, it's a bunch of pieces in the bag, but I'll show you what the individual pieces are. So we have the big, um, big yes. clicky. Cool. Right, like from was it? Um, 
Who whose story? We've got a green wow. trans green flame. Yeah, cool. yep. Another yeah. thing, which is cool. Um, a teal horn or leg or tail or whatever. Before. Right. We got the. No, they're called voodoo balls, but we got two. We got uh, in teal and in pink. It's very exciting. Uh, we have the. You know these. There's those curved pieces now that they're, yeah. they're made that are half this size. What the so heck? Like one yeah. All together, right? Yep. I love all of those. I love all of those like cut slope pieces. Those are like my new favorites. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh, and hey, Pink Wheels Three is here. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. And also, uh, Lauren Loveless, how's it going? Hello. Um, we got the uh, uh, black bones. That so cool. oh, wow. I use that as a again. I always think of repeating them for an architectural detail. Okay, so here we go. A minifigure arm that ends in a pin. Mm-hmm. Like the Mario guys, right? Little Mario arms. Mm -hmm. Um, we got some once upon a time tiles. Yeah, yeah, you'll be able to oh, see that. Wow, that looks, looks you know what it looks like. Um, and then my very favorite thing in the whole bag that I am mm -hmm. super excited about this cool cloud piece. Oh, oh wow. Monkey King, yeah, Monkey King. Club. And they use them also, it's used in the Aurora's Cottage set. It's the magical smoke coming out of the chimney. Holy. Um, but yeah, so nice piece with those really great selection of pieces. <clears throat> so thank you, Kara. You're welcome. <laughs> wow. Let's see. Now, who was it? When, who was it who did the piece that had the big old clicky as a villain? I thought it was Chris Chalice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the, and well, I think he, he showed up in a few of them. So, yeah. Good morning, everyone. David, how's it going? Oh, my goodness. And Larissa is here. Hey, welcome. Wow, everybody. Lots of uh, so people here I did get So, I did get one gift for myself, a Lego okay. okay. do, do show. I bought the police station. No, wow. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. oh good one. So this this is a set. This is a set from my childhood that I've been trying to find uh, for a while and get. Um, but I just remember this one. I think it was 1979, somewhere around that. It wasn't even 1980. But uh, I, I had I'd forgotten about what was in the box and what I found because it was such a long time ago, I couldn't recall. But one of the inserts oh, nice. shows, it shows all the sets from that year. Oh, that's oh, great. Cool. That awesome. Laid together with the road <clears throat> base plates and the trees and everything. All the fruit now, trees. All those fruit oh, trees, too. Can you guys yeah. imagine being able to fit all of the sets from one year <laughs> and one page? <laughs> yeah, I remember having the hospital as well, so I have to search that one down. Some of these others I don't recognize. Wow. I, have the, I do have the, uh, I think I have the fuel truck too. And and, the, the and this and one. this one. The fire, the fire station? Yeah, I don't have the fire station. It's really cute. But all this stuff just is kind of wonderful to th to imagine that, yeah, you could get you could kind of I think I have the small ones the motorcycle the police car, mm. but That's yeah, this is crazy. Thing. Oh, look at that! The like, fruit trees down there, the old yeah. school fruit trees. Mm -hmm. the ones. Moto yeah. has one house for for two families living next to one another. There's a hospital, a fire department, and a police department. <laughs> <laughs> Very same. You know what? Uh, I, will, I will say this: city really hasn't changed that much. It's very consistent. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> the the amount of the amount of public utilities and services for the amount of uh, yeah. inhabitants is is pretty. Uh, pretty <laughs> inter Indeed. It's an interesting yeah. dynamic. Yeah. Very nice. That's a great insert. But yeah, that's crazy, yeah. isn't it? That's so cool. Yeah. But it wants to frame that insert. Yeah, Absolutely. I would. And then, or, no, yeah, Fabby Phantom the, uh, said that. Sorry. When there's instructions. Oh, Perfect. wait, get you back up. 
Perfect condition. Perfect yeah. condition instructions. Wow. wow. Oh, that's so Can, fun. Yeah. Just, nu just nuts. Hi, Richard's Very dad. Cool. Hey, dad. Ooh, another family hey, member. Checking in. Hey, dad. How's it going? Cheers. Dad Michelle was here earlier, too. Looking at her today. It is. It's true. All right. No, how so, about a refill on coffee? I would that? love that. Okay, be I'll be awesome. right back. <laughs> well, it looks like everybody is hard at work right now. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm trying to box this up very carefully. I'm I sure am. I'm, I'm, I'm building. <laughs> so, are, you so building you, are you working on, you're working on the bookshop then? Bill? Yeah. 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 I, I think it's going to be like a record for how quick I've gotten a set like out of the box and I'm, like <laughs> if you get it built and on a shelf. I don't want any more boxes like sitting around. <laughs> What's your BPM? Well, it's a fantastic <laughs> build. It's, it's so much fun. <laughs> it is a really fun build. Yeah. I'm working on the uh, yeah I've, I'm getting the monster book of monsters sorted here. Got the the cover almost done. I need to apply the stickers, but of course, you know how much I love doing stickers. Especially on yep. camera. Oh, that reminds me. Speaking lots of, of stickers, and I know we talked about this already, but <laughs> Richard was so excited about the gold about the gold pieces. And then, of course, we discovered that the gold pieces were actually um, stickers. stickers. But I was like, <laughs> ah, what the heck? Like, let's go ahead and do it anyway. Isn't and, that so disappointing? <laughs> and so I got Richard the Wonder Woman 1984 uh, yeah. set that has all of these awesome gold sticker yeah. pieces. Mm -hmm. And I'm just imagining how all those gold panels are going to look with the trans blue solar panels and other like blue elements in space. And look at that kick, kick ass armor, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, that yeah. was um that mold is from a, a Pharaoh's thing, but they, yes. they did it in gold. Yep. Yeah, which is awesome. You know, I mean, we just, we I, just, will, I, I will say that you know I've heard a lot of complaining about about the new Wonder Woman movie, which you know. I haven't seen it, so I have no opinion yet. Yeah, but me neither. Uh, if nothing else, we get kick-ass Lego sets out of. Yeah, out yeah. Of them, you know? Well, you know what's <laughs> interesting? I, I was reading, and we've talked about this sort of before about like fandom, and you know, yeah. and I, I actually um, was watching. Um, uh, oh wait, sorry, real quick. Um, Jake Sadovich says he was driving, but all that beautiful chrome is from the UCS Nabu fighter. Oh, oh right. So, yeah, except for I think the the truck wheel hub you have is from a is from a um model maker. But yeah, all oh. the rest of that was Naboo. Wow. Super cool. That's awesome. So anyway, yeah, we were talking about you hundred dollars more to get, you know, a couple more pieces to actually finish it. <laughs> um, all the um I you know, I look at the Twitters, like it's one of the things I do. Um and somebody mentioned, um, because of course, everybody had their hot take on Wonder Woman, like over mm -hmm. the past few days, it's all like all anybody's been talking <laughs> it's about. It's the best, it's the worst. Yeah, and the, guy, and the guy was saying like how it's kind of a bummer that we've gotten to this point where either it was, either it was awesome or it was the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Like there's no- That's what I've heard too. There's no like, <laughs> Thoughtful, Very binary. Yeah. Yeah. There's no sort of like thoughtful huh. um like interpretation. It's just either and also and not just it was bad, but it was the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. How did this ever get made? Well, you know, I think <laughs> really I not the new Wonder Woman movie is some slack because Flynn and I just watched the first episode of the TV series, and <gasps> Wonder yeah. Woman starts out. In lingerie, she's yeah. wearing a nighty. Yeah. Okay, so if you Is have Linda Carter, Max, yeah. yeah, the Linda Carter, HBO Max, and are watching the Wonder Woman, they they have the, all the seasons of the Wonder Woman TV show from the seventies <laughs> with um, with Linda Carter as and Cloris Leachman. Cloris Leachman played her mother, and she played it for comedy. Okay, this is so weird. So the very first episode. Almost all the guest stars who are famous people of the time um, are comedians. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. They play it like it is like high. Well, some of them well, do. It's funny because it's an adventure show, but they're all playing their roles for laughs. Yeah. It was especially well, it's from a comic book. So right, exactly. 
yeah. how stuff was interpreted. That's exactly what that's exactly what I said when we were watching it. I was like, clearly they went comic book and they're like, oh well then this must be comedy. You can hear yeah. like the big guy behind the desk yeah. doing this exactly must be comedy. But yeah. you know, Linda Carter yeah, the kind of comic strips and, and comic books got you know, they were thinking, oh, this we're going to make a TV of Richie Rich, the poor little rich And that boy, was or, the rock, too. That's what people yeah. wanted. That's what people were watching on TV. We're watching, you know, goofy, like, sitcoms and stuff. So, well, it sense? was pretty, I got to well, say, it was, it was in turns, like, fascinating and horrifying. Well, Cloris Leachman, as her mom, is the founder of Paradise Island and basically, like, a queen who's... Pretty much rolling her eyes. Yeah, she's just <laughs> rolling her eyes at everything, and it's just like, you know, flying. It was really, it was really weird. And then, of course, Lyle Wagoner as Steve. It was pretty. It was I think pretty, people people do forget how bar the how low the bar was for so long. Like, oh sure, comic book movies have only been a serious thing for a relatively short period of time. Well, I, I challenge anybody who enjoys DC to go watch the 1984 Supergirl movie and then come back and compare it to what they're watching now. Yeah. Well, I bet I will love it because Supergirl and because. <laughs> Like we've talked about, this is why I enjoy all things Lego because I come into it expecting to have fun and planning to have fun, and I have yeah. There, my bar is set so low that if it's <laughs> that's a good place I'm to be. Have a damn yeah. good time. Yeah. That's why I enjoy every single Star Trek movie. I think they're all fantastic. Yeah. Agree, Not, right? Oh, even number five. Whichever I don't even know what number five one? was, but yes, it was no. great. Number five is where they like travel that. to remember, center. But yeah, it's great. Number five is going to the center of the universe, and it was pretty rough. Hey, Blair, 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 how's it going? <laughs> I would still give it a pass for effects, but the the writing is definitely uneven. Oh my god, you guys! The invisible jet was so <laughs> amazing. So basically, they took a plastic seat. They like made a plastic seat through plane that looked like it was flat it was about this big and they literally just like filmed it against a green screen doing this and then they superimposed her <laughs> driving it and then um I that. and he's like passed out on a like on a like, like a laying stretcher. down on a stretcher on the bottom of it it was so it was so amazing yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was awesome well, have to because, start watching it again well, you know they would have had no budget, and they say to their designers, "We need this effect." That's right. right. Those, those were like, like those were like top quality effects. You know, it was. It was. It was, it was. But but real. I mean, you know, I love to look back on it. Like I'll watch more. It was great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, then, and then I love. So she's she's she gives her the outfit, right? She gives her her mother makes the outfit. By the way. That's where in the on the TV show. That's how the, uh, the how it goes. Is that her mom makes the outfit for including her, including the bracers. The queen sews the outfit for her, and and presents it to her. And she's wearing and it's got the skirt on it. And she and you know the like the old school the old school skirt. And she's like, and it has a skirt on it. And then uh, and then then there's the pants underneath in case the skirt becomes too cumbersome. And she immediately takes the skirt off and says, "Thanks, mom, <laughs> never to be seen again." <laughs> I think that was probably set in for some sort of moral decency code for the TV. Probably. Right? Yeah. Well, like, no, no, it originally had a skirt. Well, so. it was clearly, it was Kleenex, it was clearly a nod. It was clearly a nod to the her original outfit. But yeah. I just love the fact that um she just basically abandoned it immediately. Yeah. It was, it was no, for the, it was for the next hours. generation. I yeah, think the skirt, the skirt, the skirt, doing that. But the now? skirt is like cape. The skirt is like capes. No capes. Right. right? Well, right. okay. You'll get stuck on stuff. I want to go even further down this rabbit hole. There was a TV movie of Wonder Woman that I think was before the TV show, and it had Kathy Lee, not Gifford. There was another Kathy Lee at the time, and I can't remember her name now. Somebody can look it up. But she actually went to, she actually had like a full on Wonder Woman bathing suit with swim cap. 
No, 19... why? Oh, yeah. Why? Oh, wow. Oh, Who is it? Smoke up Kathy Lee Crosby. Kathy oh, Crosby, there you go. 1974. Wow. Yeah, so really terrible. And she does have a full-on Wonder Woman swimsuit with swim cap. But I got to <laughs> say, her, her costume is excellent. Not the swimsuit one, but the, the poster for the movie. Yeah. I the love that outfit. great. Love it. <laughs> oh, wow. so, yeah. Well, I mean, her, her um, to me, Wonder Woman will always be Linda Carter. Like, I thought she was awesome. And, of course, yeah. her... Her ch her change into Wonder Woman is is iconic at this point, right? Oh yeah, it's that spinning around in a circle and and it and it's funny because it's literally just two shots. It's one of her in as Diana Prince spinning around and her hair starts to come down, and then it's just like her in the full Wonder Woman outfit carrying her other outfit. So she right. about that. She's got it over and the her arms, arm, and then she the arms are always got like, like that. The best part is at the end, she spins around, she's got the outfit, she walks over to the closet, doesn't open the closet, she just sticks her arm in and drops the clothes and closes the door. My kind of well, woman. She, she doesn't okay. have the time. Next yeah, it's, it's, a busy woman. it's a busy woman. Oh, well, I mean, can you imagine if Superman came out of the, the phone booth, like, with the suit over his arm, right. and he's like, I've got to drop it to the dry cleaners before right. I take off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> anyway sorry that was a that was yeah. a deep rabbit hole but, but yeah. there was a lego set there. yeah there was a lego set there yeah. so um we haven't watched the new movie yet so i don't know um so no, no i anyone. i i opted instead to watch soul the, we did the day too. it came out yeah. yeah and i figured holly you had watched it we would watch it too because yeah, you're a fan of animation soul. It, I, I mean, being in the film industry just runs everything for me. So that's all there is. To Hi, that. my mom's here. How's it going? Oh. Well, we got the full family Hi, experience mom. today. Hi, mom. Say, Moto, um, Flynn's mom um, gives you the nod of approval for your oh. um, interpretive dance impression. <laughs> yeah, <that's exactly. laughs> Thank you. Oh, and okay, one more thing before we move on from Wonder Woman. <laughs> Is like no matter how great like the gold outfit and the, like the whatever all the new 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 everything nothing beats the theme song from the Wonder Woman TV show. This is it true. Is so good, and the opening credits are so great, and so the the things. But come on, that opening theme song it is amazing. And if you haven't listened to it, you need to immediately go listen to the original song because it's oh, great. Amazing studio yeah. musicians. Yeah. Da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na. So good. <laughs> I'll be right back. I want to put this away before I damage Which is it. also <laughs> the music. That was the same music that you hear in um, Lego Dimensions when she's flying. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's awesome. Good. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, well, it's like Blair Archer. Blair says, uh, June says, remember at Bricks Cascade when Flynn and Richard wanted a picture of me in my Wonder Woman costume? Yes, we have a picture with Blair's daughter, June, in the most amazing Wonder Woman costume. Aww. We were so excited to get to take a picture awesome. with her. That was super fun. I know she was excited to meet us, and I think we were more excited to meet yeah. her and, and uh, get a picture with her awesome outfit than she was to meet us, which was, uh, <laughs> it was really fun. <laughs> um, anyway. There we go. Uh, so sorry, what were you saying, uh, Cara? I was just saying that the the music, the theme, the theme to the Wonder Woman TV show is uh -huh. the same music when you're playing in Lego Dimensions. When you're playing as Wonder Woman and you're flying, that's the same theme. It's the same oh, song. that's awesome! Wow. Yeah, one of the reasons Wonder Woman was always m like my favorite character to play when I was playing Lego Dimensions. Well, it's very 70s, and it's very, like... Awesome. It's just so good. It's it's so good. I can't... Yeah, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just awesome, and it should be used more often. Like, they should use it in the current movies, because it would be fantastic. Yes. A thousand percent, yes. Yeah, well, I'll, <laughs> we'll still watch Wonder Woman, because, you know, it'll, it'll be a fun adventure flick, and... You know, I'll lose interest halfway through the story and start watching it for visual interest, like I do with every movie. So it'll be fun. <laughs> well, she, as Flynn points out, I, I, I think she was one of the best things about that. What was that DC movie? Wonder Woman. Oh, Justice League. Justice League. I thought Wonder Woman was awesome in Justice League. Oh man, I, I tried watching Justice League like three times. I don't think I ever watched the whole thing. 
Yeah, we yeah, went to or yeah, Batman or Superman. Our nephews wanted to see it in, in the movie theater. Family. Yep, we so so we saw we saw it with them, and yeah, it was. Um, well, I also like what's his noodle who was in it, who played the Flash. Oh, oh what's his noodle? Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, he's also in the Fantastic Beasts movie. Yeah, I haven't seen that either. Can't, I spaced on his name suddenly. Yeah, I would have known if you didn't ask me. <laughs> he's quite, he's very very he's very funny in the role, but she was. It was really. It was really Ezra awesome. Miller. Ezra Miller. There yeah. you go. Look at Johnny. Thank you. Yeah, I'm more um, of a fan of the Grand Gustin, but that's me. Yeah. Oh, now that he's from the TV show, right? Yeah, yes. yeah, he's a TV guy. Got it. Got right. it. Yeah, well, I know I've I may have talked. I know I've probably talked about this before, but my my benchmark for hey, get your stuff together and get a good cosplay outfit was the guy that I saw where he <clears> had awesome flash costume actually there's two of them but he had an awesome flash costume and he i mean like he went there with the shirt he had like the perfect the perfect hat with the wings on it everything and then he was wearing oh. and tennis shoes oh no <laughs> Come on, you're go to all that trouble i mean maybe he spent everything he had on the hat and he couldn't afford like the shoes and the pants but I was like, oh, there was that one. And then the guy who was in a full on like Final Fantasy, like cosplay, like incredible, amazing, like with giant, like with a weapon and like the big shoulder things on. And yeah, he was wearing high tops. Yeah. I, like, I know they're more comfortable, but as somebody who's done a lot of costumes, sometimes so you just people don't think it. about shoes and then you run out of time and. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you saw someone who did uh, Jay Garrick, the Jay Garrick version of the Flash, with the silver helmet and all that. Yeah. Okay. Old school. Well, that's Dang. the that's the yeah that's the super, that's like the old school Flash. I love that. Very cool. Yeah, those <laughs> shoes are so important. When I was putting my Supergirl costume together, I must have ordered like five different pairs of boots from Zappos before I found the right pair. <laughs> <laughs> for my kids' costumes for Halloween, I swear for Halloween, like every year, it's like, you know, for kids outgrow their shoes every year, right? So you have to buy them at least a couple of pairs of shoes each year. So I would always time it around Halloween so that oh, we get a pair of shoes or boots oh, or whatever for whatever costume. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Well, it's just, it's interesting to see like, like from, like from a cosplay point of view, like seeing cosplay done at, at um at conventions and stuff like that it's just very interesting that people tend to focus on certain parts of the costume but then kind of forget <laughs> about the other parts of the costume or like i said just run out of time i mean it's like when you're doing a mock right you're building a mock and you, yeah. you spend so much time on one part of it and then you get you get close to that deadline you get to the other part and you're like if i had more time obviously i would like really finish this out but you yeah. just do what you can do, and I so, yeah, yeah, I researched the uh, I researched the footwear from the very beginning. That's one of reason. Of course, I never you did. do, Moto. Yeah, yeah, I never did Neo because he always has these custom high tech boots that would be impossible to construct. <clears throat> mm. Yes, it, you know, it's just it's just those things. You know, yeah, and if you can't, if you don't, I'm like, no way. Yeah, and if you can't, that's the thing is like if you if you if you know you can't accomplish it, then do something else. <laughs> if you can't right, do right, it, so, right, don't do it at all. There's, and then there's, of course, like, I think it's also, there's a little bit of a, a cultural thing, because when I was in um, Tokyo for the Tokyo Game Show and saw those cosplays, holy yeah. bananas. Yeah. yeah. That that's was level. crazy. That was, yes, that's like an entirely other level. And I mean, that's not even, and that was actually at a convention. Then there is the folks who just who go to the fashion area of Turkey and, yeah. and hang out. Yeah. And there are the um the gothic Lolita girls who do yeah. the, who like do a whole I mean, these girls were top to bottom. There was not one thing in their outfit that did not go with every other thing in their outfit. Oh and yeah. I couldn't yeah. believe it. I was absolutely floored. Well, in Japan, there's some cosplayers. That's what their profession is: is to go right. to a convention, and then there's a ring of photographers, and they just that. I mean, that's their that is literally their job is themselves yeah. in an appearance. Yeah, well, that's kind of yeah, what Crystal does, isn't it? Or what she was doing for a while. Who wasn't wasn't Crystal kind of a professional like convention cosplayer? Absolutely. Yes, and yep. you know, and our own oh, really? Kim, uh, uh, Sarah Kino, she also does um, amazing cosplay. And you know these are again people who who are 
take impeccable care. Um, like with Joel their... Marbella, I got reprimanded for taking photos out of turn. Yes, that's very <laughs> very Japan. Well, that is yeah. You can't you you got to do that. You got to. Yeah, yeah, I've always thought you have to take you have to look at every single part of the costume. I mean, yeah, I, again for my Supergirl, I mean, I went down. I mean, I spent hours looking for the right kind of belt to wear. Um, when I did my Glinda the Good Witch, I mean, I definitely spent some time looking for the right shoes, even though I had remade my wedding dress into the costume and you weren't going <laughs> to see my shoes. I still had to have the right shoes, right? I, 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 I can that. imagine going halfway into the costume and not having everything be part of it. That just doesn't yeah. work for me. No, yeah. I don't think well, that works for anybody. I think, <laughs> yeah, I think the best cosplay I ever saw in person was, um, it probably was a 17 to 19 year old uh, guy with his parents there, but he was Superman to a T. And mm -hmm. this guy must have been, he was like a Christian. I mean, this guy was fit as a fiddle and had the skin tight classic um christopher reeves costume on yes that, man, that is like the only it was movie. it was utter perfection to the curl the attention to the curl the hair product everything oh, was but I all you had to it. do is just show up and stand there just for a minute like that <laughs> and, and i was and like oh my god it's superman yeah. <laughs> christopher That's reeves so awesome. costume too wasn't like 3D printed like carbon With fiber nipples. abs, right? It was just like it was well, just, it was just well, Yeah, and well, to be I, fair I, to Henry Cavill, say, Henry Cavill had no foam on his costume. He doesn't need it. Oh, no, he, he didn't Henry need it. Cavill I mean, Zack Snyder was very specific about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, not Henry, yeah. About Cavill not uh, <laughs> Cavill not um, having foam in his costume. He worked out to get yeah. the body. Um, so, but I gotta say, um, but still, I gotta say, regardless of you know, like how much you're able to put in or not put into your costume, the fact that fans are so excited to get dressed up as their favorite characters and go out yeah, when yeah. it's not Halloween, I'm like 100% here for that. Yeah. Like, and and I and I have to say, like, I'm yes, I'm being a little bit, you know, judgy in a silly way about you know. No, like incompleted costumes or whatever, but I'm I am just impressed mm. that people are um, are together, excited enough about it, and also honestly brave enough to mm -hmm. put something on that's not um, uh, to put something on that's that's not your normal everyday wear and go out and be in public in it. Right? Yeah. You, know, you don't go out. You don't go in public in your costume. <laughs> I used to, but I'm saying I think it's I think it's a, I think it's a very brave thing. It is. It is. Well, yeah, because going going back to the to the movies, you know, even if again, if even if a movie is not perceived as altogether good, you know, generally people are referring to a storyline. Like it's usually the story that's not good. Yeah. But there's yeah. always some merit to every film pro or most film productions have some merit, whether it's visual interest, like I said, like. Oftentimes, I lose interest in the story halfway through, and I'm sucked into the visuals because that's kind of my thing. Um, yeah, but there's merit to that. Like, if you need to watch a movie on mute, then you know there's still you you can still enjoy it, <laughs> right? Well, I think I I must have told um, I must have said at one point when I was living in Berlin, I went and saw um, um, was it? Oh, it wasn't Independence Day. What was the one with Tom Cruise where the world's falling apart because of aliens and? Which one? And, <laughs> Every, everyone, so everyone, and War, uh, War of the Worlds, maybe? Yeah, War, War, War of the Worlds. Yeah. I saw War of the Worlds in German without subtitles. It was probably and better. It was, I didn't understand, you know, it was like my first month there or whatever. I didn't understand anything, and the movie was so much better because I didn't have to deal yeah. with his cheesy, cheesiness. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes it's better well, that way if you can just avoid, if you can just ignore, like if the dialogue is not good or if it's not cast well or the story's not good like there's well, still movies movies you know. are someone made the point that the reason movies are so difficult is they combine all of the other arts together into one experience so mm -hmm. exactly. whether it's audio engineering you know from the music aspect but even the um, you know the 7.1 surround that someone has to engineer to every sound effect and the foley art that goes into that so there's the audio experience there's the visual experience of it 
Um, there's performance and acting. There's exceptional writing and storytelling that has to happen. Costuming Painting and sculpture. Yeah, and costume design. So you get fashion and, and costuming and lighting is part of that. Um, photography and cinematography is an aspect yeah. of that. Yeah. If you look at all the categories of the of the Oscar or the, these award shows, you begin to realize that film production is where you pull almost every piece of performance or visual art or audio art together into one thing that has to sing together or, yeah. or, or come together and arise to, to, to be an experience. But like Holly, you were saying, I can enjoy, I can enjoy a, um, you know, a poorly, poorly written film if the, if the VFX side of it, I'm paying attention to, or the sound engineering or, right. or, um, you know, different, different, aspects of it including you know the costuming or clothing design or or even the set design for some of the stuff exactly. I mean, it's really subtle I love it. yeah there's a lot of movies. into the set set dressing there's, and all that there's a lot of movies like you'll find if you if you know me well enough you'll find that very oftentimes i will say that there's movies that i haven't seen and then they'll say if people will say oh i can't believe you haven't seen it and then i start to watch it and i'm like oh wait yeah i have seen this there are so many movies <laughs> that i just forget <laughs> that i've watched because I forget the story, like the story yeah. is not forgettable to me, or I just stop paying attention to the story at some point and I start paying attention to other things. So there's a lot of movies that yeah. to me are basically forgettable, but I could probably tell you like all kinds of things about the costumes they wore or something yeah. about the cinematography. That's the stuff that I tend to remember. Like if I see a certain shot mm -hmm. that I'm like, oh yeah, I totally remember this. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. when I was growing up, um, in my in my small town, uh, we had an influx of of Hmong refugees arrive, and at that time, uh, this this remember when you could rent VCRs, VCR tapes oh, yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Oh so we had this little shop pop up that was called Ho Chung Video Rental, and the VCR cassettes were Jackie Chan movies. So there's, it, but they were from Asia, so it wasn't it was Jackie Chan. In the original, um, uh, uh, what I'm trying to say, Hong Kong production, mm -hmm. and the subtitles were in Japanese and some other language. I don't even know what it was. Probably Korean. So my, yeah, it was probably Korean or something. But we're, so we're watching these sketchy VCR movies of Jackie Chan and just loving them because we had no idea what the plot was and we could care less because. <laughs> the stunts were in yeah. the in the yeah. physical humor was so insanely good exactly. that we couldn't get over them. So we, my brother and I became real uh, early addicts of of Jackie Chan in the 1980s when he was the uh, Hong Kong Jackie Chan movies are the best. They ones. are yeah. so insanely good, and you don't even have to understand a word of what's going on. <laughs> okay. So, so as an aside, I just built the little recliner for the bookshop. Oh look at <laughs> that! Oh, isn't that a fun? Isn't that a fun little build? I love that. I love that it. It's like a black fun. brick version of cherry. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Everybody is cherry. It's a little thing, but I just I, <laughs> I, I I had to avoid watching you guys. So I don't like watching people build sets that I haven't built yet. So I had to avoid oh, yeah. watching you guys put this together. So it's like I'm getting to enjoy it now. <laughs> Very good. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm almost Sorry. done. I've got to put all the little extra things on, but I've got the. the oh wow, that was fast. I've got the play function working working now. Am I supposed to build cool. something? No. Uh, I mean, you know. I've got, oh, this, I've got this incredible. Okay, I'm gonna put something together. Yeah, it's a building. Look guy. at that! Look at that! So cool. Yeah. Rock, 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 nom, 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 nom. And it comes with a Draco Malfoy. I can't tell you. I have more Harry Potter and Draco Malfoy minifigs. Than I like, know. Than any one person needs. Yeah. Well, since it's. Almost 25 after. I'll, I will attempt to do a 59 piece set here before you. There you go. Oh my goodness. I ended, up, I ended up with so many of those little train poly bags. I don't even know how, but I have like a whole bunch of them now. I need to build like a Mugwai. long train out of them. You, you, <laughs> you dumped your pet water on them. Yeah, Mugwai. same thing happened. It's multiplied. Well, they multiplied. So many brown pieces in this. Lots of brown. Oh, That's wow. a good thing. That's a good it's thing. It's been a while since I did a fold out book. Let's I never have enough brown. Oh, I know. Actually, that's another thing. So we have this project um, that we've been working on, and it's going to require a lot of brown bricks. 
Um, and our friend Dave, again, who never does anything small, he's like, <laughs> you guys keep talking about doing your um, doing that project and you really need to get started on it. And I was like, I, yes, I know. <laughs> he's like, we totally need to get started on it. And then Thanks. he says, okay, I've been just putting these aside. He's like, now, here, go start building. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> like, wow. He's like, go make your brown thing. So. Yeah, none of you friends like that. What the heck? I guarantee at least 20 of those will be shattered by the time you're done. Oh, <laughs> it, yeah, at least. Right. So that's but, why um, I gave you enough. You need you need a little bit of extra just in case you get some uh, breakage along the way. Yeah, I am. Uh, it's when well, I got to say it's hard working in that kind of, um, you know, like just brown. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so add some variety. And I know a lot of them. This is, I think, one place um where having older and having older bricks mixed in with the newer brick is really helpful because the colors are slightly different right yeah. you do get a little like if you i mean you can't see it right now but if you do look up close at our werewolf clock there are like older brown bricks with a different color brown and we like try to mix it up a little bit just because um you know nothing in nature is all one color right so yeah. You know, nothing wrong with having some. Uh, well, I, love, I love mixing the old gray in with rocks. You know, yeah, like and like yellow mm -hmm. gray. Yeah. Are gray. the uh, are are the chip pieces useful? <laughs> uh, you know, I save some of my dark red and dark brown one by n plates just because they're so. You know, when you need them, you need them. But my, I always feel like I should just get rid of them. But I mean, I in your project that you're working on, like, is is there any place to, to use broken parts? Yeah, there's some inside places for sure. Like, oh, yeah, there's someone that, like weathered quality. I didn't mean to yeah. Say. Hey, was, Mr. Hinkle Draws. Yeah. I was gonna say, Christmas. Hope you did too. This yeah, season. there was there's someone in my log who collects every piece of authentic Lego that's been broken or shattered. Yeah. Whoa. And the reason you is know? he likes to he likes to put together post-apocalyptic stuff, and it goes right. really well with that. Uh, yeah, yep. I still haven't been able to get through to Lego for my um, to replace the stickers on my Diagon Alley set. Um, every time I go to the chat, they're not on the chat. It's because they know you're coming. Calling, and after I waited for a really long time, I had to like I was like, you know, I'll just deal with this after Christmas. Yeah, exactly. They're pretty busy. It was kind of like that same thing with the Diagon Alley that I was supposed to get that I didn't get, and I kind of hesitated. Like, it's really not urgent. I feel bad bothering them, but then. You know, I yeah. really want so. <laughs> but also, too, I'd rather have your job. Yeah, I'd rather have all the girls <laughs> and the boys of the world get their customer service before me. I mean, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Knows, I, I, I don't want to take. It I still, I still didn't bother them. I still went through other channels to get it taken care of, so that I wasn't like. Yeah, well, the hard, the tough part with the stickers is you can't get the stickers on bricks and pieces. Like you can't get them replaced. Right. Like you, you have actually to have to things. talk to someone to get yep. them done. That's right. And I don't know if I told you, but I discovered that they are all mis miscut. Oh, that sucks. Oh, oh no. Really? So well, one sheet. That was a nice little build. Oh, look at that. Wow, you're so fast. Well yeah. done. Yeah, I, I do like 10 to 12 BPM when I'm focused. Ooh, I, want, <laughs> I want to see a build off between you and Mark Cruikshank. <laughs> no, you guys, you guys had threatened that we were going to do a speed challenge build at one point with the same set. But well, I don't want to supervise. I don't want to go up against Flynn. That, when you guys went through that Technic thing, that was freaky fast. Oh, I that wasn't even fast. Like that, believe me. Like, <laughs> so that's that what was... terrifies me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, like that wasn't fast for me. That was really fast for me. I mean, compared to like when you go to some of the. Um... Oh yeah, the competitive speed builders are, are another level. Yeah, it's oh, kind yeah. of crazy. Bye, I, I will say I'm not a I'm not a, like much of a speed builder. I don't enjoy building fast. I don't want to build fast, but mm -hmm. I am a very, very good distracted builder. Like I can do like ten other things while I'm building, and mostly like with with very few errors. Like I've been watching yikes. Um, I've been watching like TV shows with subtitles and stuff while I'm building. So that's that's my wow. special skill. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Wow. I'm, yeah, I'm just starting to try to get, look into like books on, you know, like audio books. Oh. I almost just said books on tape. Oh, my God. <laughs> Grandpa. It is on tape. That's how they back it up. It's on tape. That's how they back it up at the Amazon. 
Oh, very nice. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. It's so oh, cute. that's cute. I didn't we'll realize they had splat to gears to make about, them all move. Uh, yeah. We'll have to talk about that with Mel tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. It is really. I, I like haven't that one yet. Years. I did the Christmas Carol uh, set, but I haven't mm -hmm. done the haven't done that one yet. That one's very really cute. cute. Yeah. It, the fun thing about it is that it has a drawer in it. Yeah. You know, she did the, uh, she did the, I think she did the snow globe too from a couple of years ago that also has a little drawer in it. So. Oh, I didn't get that one. Very useful. So David, you know, David that's, Wilkie. That's, that's um, going to be my question for her is like, you know, what is, what does she find the need to hide that she has to add a drawer to everything? I love that. <laughs> well, well, yes. Uh, Sorry, yes, Mr. Hinkle, we are using uh, Cuphead and Mugman mugs we got from our friend for Christmas. And they so. come with the little straw things. Yeah, they too. come with the straws in them. These are so awesome. Cute. They make me really happy whenever I need to see them. I did want to answer a question from the chat. David Wilkie, he asked this question of Boone, and I couldn't type it, but I can say it out loud. So you can get reprinted old sticker sets, but it has to be an iconic set. Yeah. So, for example, I have the original Yellow Castle, mm. uh, which was the first uh, castle set in the entire castle line in the U.S. And for that set, I did have to get a reprint, a reprinted sticker. And someone in Australia who's a hobbyist had created and reproduced that sticker set and, for themselves, but they had ordered like 100 or 150. So they were selling their copies to anyone around the world who wanted it. But if you... There are enthusiasts who have reproduced uh, vintage Lego sticker sets, but it, I, I found that you can only find it if it's one of these super uh, iconic, you know, flagship sets that that they're very desirable. Yeah, and mm. finding finding first first run vintage stickers is tough. Yeah, and expensive. Yeah, and especially when they yeah in the old sets. Remember they used to span multiple bricks. Right. They used that's to right. they used to lay mm -hmm. the sticker over the seams and everything, so that's why yeah. it was just not gonna happen. But. I have I have the stickers I need to replace most are the ones for my uh my town plan set, all of them just wait, crafted. you have town plan? Huh? Not you the original not, not oh, the Samsung one, but the, the I one was that like, <gasps> that's the set I'm looking for. <laughs> no, not that one. Um the, the set twenty eleven <laughs> yeah. or something yeah. around okay. there. I think, or no, it would have been earlier than that. Twenty, probably two thousand nine or ish, or two thousand ten. But anyway, it like all my all my stickers on that set just cracked and curled, and I don't know what mm. happened, but I need those replaced, and they were too expensive on Bricklink. So I'm gonna try and see if Lego can help me out with that somehow. Yeah, back in oh. the days when you used to set everything next to your pizza oven. Yeah, I almost <laughs> forgot. Uh, I don't know why I just thought of this, but anybody that wanted those um, dragonfly hair clips. For the Coraline Brickheads, I finally got those from Dan. So if anyone wants a dragonfly hair clip, contact oh, cool. me. Oh, cool. Like oh, excellent. DM. You know how to find me. <laughs> we do. Oh, yeah, David, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, David's looking for a set that is, yeah, you're just going to have to use Bricklink or something. But Yeah. 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 And I found mine on eBay. Yeah. yeah. I found mine on eBay, but the, I did not, they were not cheap. Yeah, oh, I have to watch out about eBay because it's easy to get that fever, right? Oh, this is just that little <laughs> thing. I'll just bid a little bit more, just a li just a little bit more. Yep. Bring well, that's why it works. It never works that well. Yeah, that's why I do shopgoodwill.com. It's like eBay, but you know, it, because it's a goodwill, you know, system. It's like I don't I don't go nuts. Yep. Yep. Well, I, I always bid at the last point. minute. I'm sorry. I snipe everybody. Oh, you're one well, of those snipers. Uh, I gotta say, I'm super excited. My um, uh, 3D printer is set to arrive tomorrow. Hopefully, this one won't be broken. <laughs> yeah, version version two. What'd you say? Is this version two? Like, did you have to ship the broken one back, and then they get you another one? Yeah, or? I had to ship the broken one back. I mean, they made it well. Okay, I say they made it easy, and they did. I really, literally, just had to walk into the UPS store and drop it off. But I still had to go to the UPS store and drop it off, and it was their mistake. Um, yeah, but I had um, I actually had really bad luck with getting them to because they'll say like, "Do you want to drop it off, or we can have somebody come and pick it up?" Nobody ever comes and picks it up. I think I tried that once too, and it didn't it didn't work out for us either. I don't. I think that's a 
sham. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it very. It may well be. <laughs> yeah, we both. Uh, but I do like that they do just like a print print your own label. So you just print the label, stick it on the box, and drop the box off. That's. Yeah. Yeah. yeah when I was getting my photo backdrop, it's a paper backdrop. Um, the first one arrived mm -hmm. and the delivery person threw it on, like literally dropped it no, on the back stairs. The no, it hit the middle of the box and it split the entire tube of paper in half. Oh, oh no. So I took a photo and I, right when I, I took a photo of it sitting on my back porch and then I opened it up and I did this YouTube video that was just like destroyed by the delivery. And so I, you know, the, the camera company place are really reputable. Well, they're like, oh, no problem. We're shipping another one. So then I waited another two and a half weeks or whatever for logistics to work out. Did and I opened this. The first one? No, they said, keep, they said keep it because the weight. Model. No, the weight was so much they would have lost more money. Oh, yeah. Now you have two sweeps for models. <laughs> I, well, I have, I have two half rolls because I sawed it in half because it was already split. But yeah, yeah, I've got like these two half rolls and I've got the real roll. But then the second box arrived and I opened it up. And it was this aluminum pole that had a sticker that said uh, something like destroy or, or you know, basically it was, you know, it was like a shred to shred destroy order. But yeah. it was a damaged aluminum rod from some sort of industrial rack system from their warehouse. And so I took a picture of that and that one they wanted me to ship back because they couldn't believe that there was a second mistake. And so four weeks later you know, the logistics go through and they're like, oh my gosh, this was legit. So they send me another roll and that one arrived like with, with hand gloves and doves coming down, guard, you know, <laughs> the guiding light from on above. Oh and that was like a, the gentlest of care delivery. Someone must have wrote a scorching note on the delivery person's uh, memo yeah. for that third one. Yeah, it was like, don't you dare <laughs> do anything right. but gently set this down on top of Kleenex boxes for this person. Yeah, that gets expensive. But that one, <laughs> on their that, yeah, for for them, yeah, for yeah. all the logistics and weight. But yeah. it was great. They, I finally got a backdrop in and set it up. But it was a good. It was like a two and a half or three month journey, with I all that back that. and forth. Wow, that is yeah. Well, just cross. I'm just crossing my fingers. Hopefully, it'll be it should all it'll be good this time. Second um, time's the charm. Yeah, and then printing, printing. And the, yes, and then there will be, then the printing will happen. Well, and I'm, of course, it's going to arrive tomorrow, and I'm super excited about it. So we've got Mel in the morning, which I'm super mm -hmm. excited about. And then we have the first, we have a, the, we have our first session of our new adventure with our new characters for D&D &D tomorrow at 4, which I'm also oh. really excited about. So there's a four-hour window in which we hope that the printer will arrive and we'll be able to, like, get it set it up. But it sounds, it's looking more and more like it'll be like Tuesday before we actually get to do anything with it. But we both have off of works and there's no show. So we can just uh, print, 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 print. Yes. <laughs> I, think, I, I, think, I think the gentle whirring of electric motors and filament is going to guide you to sleep every night from there on. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll have yeah. the light wafting scent of, of, of filament. Of burning going through, plastic. Going through the air. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, I um, unless Logan bumps the table and you get like this weird misprint in the model. Well, no, oh, I'll we tell you what, of that. The, the original one that arrived broken had had a special custom piece printed um, to uh, you could see where maybe when it fell off the table or whatever, the, the power cord got yanked out. So they had 3D printed a little ring to strain relief the cable with. So this <laughs> turn, we're going to put it on a sturdy table and we're going to tape down the cable and yeah. no dog playing fetch with me is going to, or me playing fetch with the dog is going to break anything. Well, the slightest, I, it's, it's weird because knowing your luck, well, I wouldn't say this, but like if you had like a minor tremor or earthquake or something, even that puts a little weird ripple in the model. Yep. Yeah, well, I, hopefully little, that won't be happening. No. Uh, but we, um, a Logan, I was saying a Logan quake. Yes. Well, we've got, um, we, you know, we've got, we have to find a, I mean, we kind of have a place for it, but we're going to get it set up. <laughs> I'm super, and actually, I don't know if y'all saw, but Amy of uh, Crystal and Amy, Amy DD, made a little Lego 3D printer using the, I did see that as the, as the little nozzle where the filament comes out. Yeah, <laughs> so, which she did. Very clever. 
That's very yeah, cool. Oh my gosh, I gotta look that up. That's it was fun. Oh, fun let me find it here. here. Yeah, I gotta send you guys the file for uh, for one of these guys. My little uh, brick separator bottle opener. This is what I was talking about, the bottle separator. Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, and I can print it in. Okay, so this is this is me, right? I right. will tell you, it doesn't. It's not gonna be sturdy enough with whatever filament that you're using. It's probably not gonna be sturdy enough to actually like use it as a pry tool. But um, you could as like I I three D printed these to be cast. So I'm gonna try and get these cast in a more durable material material but so it's still fun to have and it does work in a pinch a couple of times i want so, one of those i want one of those electroplated in orange so <laughs> you know, this is um my my filament arrived like a week ago okay and they're out of a lot of the basic colors online like you know, i mean i got black and white but then like red and blue and all those are hard to find but what I did find was a triple pack that has gold, <gasps> copper, no. and silver. silver. Oh. So I'm going um, to be printing out some um, nerdy type. I think I'm going to, OK, here's what probably my one of my first prints is going to be. I'm going to, I'm going to either make or find the pattern for the, the actual uh, money in in the world of Dungeons and Dragons. Like there's pictures <laughs> of what the coins look like, and uh, I'm gonna print up some uh, some little 3D coins for my uh, for my co uh, players. Look at that. <laughs> he doesn't even have the 3D printer yet, and he's already a counterfeiter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dream oh, big. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Hmm. Look at that. Well, I finished my model. Um, it doesn't have the stickers on it yet, but I did finish. Uh, I did finish this. Very so here's nice. the little, and the stickers kind of go. They go here. What? You're not going to put the stickers on 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 air? Yes, you know how I love that. <laughs> um, so, and then there's the spine, which, if you remember from the movie, you have to pet the spine to get it not to bite you. Although. Mm -hmm doesn't really work. I'm so sad too. I really wanted this. I wanted to do this yesterday because they had their, um, and I may still do it, but Lego had their Lego build day yesterday and everybody mm -hmm. was hashtagging and we were so busy doing our D and D stuff and some other things. I didn't get around to it, but I really wanted to take a picture of me like with my finger in it, like, ah, it's biting me. Um, <laughs> for that, which would have been fun, but I didn't, but maybe, Yeah, I mean, most of my, "Quote unquote build day yesterday was spent doing a puzzle, so but you know I went ahead and posted that anyway because <laughs> every did you puzzle build. What did you build? Oh, I did the minifigure uh, puzzle, which was like I think the easiest thousand piece puzzle I think I've ever done. Yes, wow. so Richard got a puzzle from someone who's mm. on the screen right now from two that, people yeah. who are on the screen right now because I can oh, see Paint Pusher there in the background. Hi, hey, Robert." Hey. <laughs> <laughs> It's um on the um it's under your side table on by the couch. Oh, thanks. Um, I want to do the faces one. That I think that's going to be I think that's going to be a good one for me. Yeah, I wow. This is one of the coolest puzzles I've ever seen. It is a lenticular Oh, oh. oh wow. Lenticular astronaut. And which, yes, which it mission is, is that? Is that it's it's are in Gemini, fact lenticulars. Which was really cool. Wow. Someone knows me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was gonna say we did, or my son and I. My son put together one set. I put together another, and then we're both working on the mindstorms. But most of the day he's just been doing other gifts that he's opened, and we're gradually working our way through the pile of stuff that all the relatives yeah. have sent in. Yeah. We got the Ooh, I know this isn't Lego, yeah. but Rick Orphanage says GST3D still has a great Christmas deal on PLA. 10 one kilogram rolls for a hundred bucks. That is really cheap. That's 10 bucks yeah. a roll. Generally, Whoa. they're about 20 a roll. And uh, Amy tells me that they you can get a lot out of a roll. She said you'd be really surprised okay. how yeah. much you can get um, out of a roll. I mean, you know, as long as you're not building gigantic things, but our dungeon master, like she showed us yesterday, a friend of hers uh, out of ABS. Now, we're not going to be printing with ABS here. We can, but it apparently has quite the toxic off uh, 
off gas. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's yeah, not so very good. So we don't we, have our ventilation hood set up. Yeah, so we probably won't be doing that one. Uh, but she had like a three story like house. And it was all and it was printed up almost like a like a modular. Like the first floor was a section, the second floor was a section, and then the top floor was a section that all fit together. And I I was blown away by the details. Mm -hmm. Was it I, like full scale house? Believe it. <laughs> no, it was it was maybe this big. <laughs> yeah, but and but although it, I hear there's three D printing houses now too, they're they are three D printing yeah, for a while. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I've I've um and so I've been looking at a variety of three D programs. And I haven't yet, so I found the really, really simple ones, and then I found the really, really complicated ones. By the way, there's a lot of free ones out there. I was pretty blown away by the power of 3D that you can have for free. Um, uh, but I've yet to find one that's just kind of like in the intermediate zone. Like I, I need one that's kind of like medium. And so far, I've had a difficult time finding uh, just the right have, one. But it's have coming. You, have you tried Cure Scripts yet? Have I what? Have you tried Cura Script yet? Oh no, no, I need to check that one out. Sorry, I broke that down. Well, we have so many makers in Tricky Lug. Joel Marbella says um, he uses 3D printing for board game inserts, oh, which is really cool. That makes sense. I um, yeah, well, that's it's funny when you go up and look at the stuff that's for 3D print. It's a lot of gaming stuff. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of stuff for gaming. Um, so that's, uh, that's I just, really fun. It's funny. I don't have a huge thing. I don't. I don't think I have a huge thing about mini dolls. But I really love the idea of printing an oversized mini doll, like the size of a of a big fig. Yeah. 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 I want yeah. that. That's cool. That's yeah. why. That's why I haven't done three D printing. Is I fear it would be a very dangerous hobby for me to get into. It's probably <laughs> it's probably a dangerous hobby that to to get it. Well, you know. Uh, Amy said to me, I was like, yeah, I'm so getting the 3D printer and she just laughed and she's like, so, you know, right, you're just going to be collecting filament now, right? Yeah. Like, that's the thing. Like, you go, well, so it means we can trade in, can we trade one skein of yarn for one roll of filament? <laughs> yeah, exactly. If I can trade <laughs> off, I will have all the filament we'll ever need. No, it is it is a very consuming hobby like anything else, which is why I've kind of avoided it as well. Like we had the luxury that up until, you know, this year, if if you had a little something you wanted to test or play with, we could we could, you know, if the printer, if the printers at work were at all available, you could maybe sneak something in. And so it was it was just convenient enough that you could try a few things. But like well, we, had our, we had our 3D printer at home for a while and it just was. Man, it's like so much trial and error of trying oh, to get really? it just right, and the and then you have to like sand it and clean it and paint it or whatever. It's like it was just I could just kind of see that I was like, man, I don't know if this is something I can do a deep. Yeah, dive. I was I was going to do it for cosplay purposes because all the sure. hot, really high end costuming I want to do would would be available only through 3D printing. Yeah, I'll tell you. We'll work it out, here. Moto. We'll make it for you. Of, so SIGGRAPH is this big uh, graphics, annual graphics convention. Yeah, SIGGRAPH. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was notable this past year. They It was all online this year, but in 2019, the SIGGRAPH that year was all about like the apparel industry. You, it just went off mm. the charts. Like half of the seminars that they had and the talks and the demonstrations that they were doing were all about like, you know, how, how to use like how to 3D print with a, apparel, basically shoes mm -hmm. and- Yeah, I've oh, seen and, shoes. Well, yeah, seen, so um, that's the future now, yeah. Custom buttons would be really great and easy to do, like 3D yeah. print custom buttons, yeah. like, you know. Holly, Holly, what you say about the trial and error with the prints, and of course that all takes time, right? It reminds me of the very early days of the internet where you'd try and do, like download a picture of a dog and it's like, you know, <laughs> X nodes, and it's coming through on your 14.4 modem. And, yeah. You know, yeah. It's coming through and you get 15 lines down an hour later and you're like, that's not a picture of a dog, it's a jack in the box. <laughs> Well, I was wow, yeah. one thing that's nice about the um, <laughs> the three D printing thing is that there is so much information out there. Like there are YouTube channels dedicated 
to helping you get like the settings right and you know to help avoid some of that a little bit uh, you know a little bit uh, more a little bit less trial and error and I think also um, and I have Amy too so yeah that's nice yeah Fabulous. take advantage of that for sure very funny. <laughs> <laughs> it sure, was a picture sure. of a dog. Um, yeah. So that's what happens when it doesn't come through. Boiling <laughs> 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 <Spoiling> mad. <laughs> Gee, they are boiling mad. Um, so oh, there we go. Well, gosh, everybody, it's uh, it is. We are about at time here, but thank you so much for joining us today. What fun! Like we, I, yeah. It's been great. I have to. I have to admit, like this morning, I was kind of like, oh, "We've got a show. Okay, we're gonna do the show before I'm used to being on vacation. Before, and of course, after. you all made it delightful and fun. Be careful um, there, Moto, because if Splashy's hat comes off, um, your computer <laughs> may, uh, you know. I hope you have a face ready that. for that. There you go. <laughs> you know, when when Logan puts oh. his paws on the keyboard, it's a little annoying. Maybe you get some extra Zs. When Splashy puts their paws on a keyboard, it's a whole yeah. different experience. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> so well, I, finished my, no. I finished my second floor, so there's that. Before we go, I wanted to oh, share nice. something with you. Not that every single thing that we got from everyone wasn't amazing, and it was, and we love all of it. But I just wanted to share this one last thing before we go. Um, Monica Berry, um, one of our, and if you didn't get to see this the other day, then you can see it now. But Monica Berry painted this um, incredible painting uh, so for good. us. And um, so the sort of the story behind it is Richard and my, uh, like our song, our favorite song is Blackbird by the Beatles. Mm. And when we did, when we had our wedding, um, we Richard did a wood or a linoleum block cut print of two blackbirds, and we showed it on the show once. But so Monica painted these two blackbirds um, who have been collecting things in their nest. The one has a twenty-sided die, which I didn't notice when we first looked at it because uh -huh. it's got shiny paint on it. But yeah, the other one has lights, and then if you look in there, there is just tons of great stuff from the show and from our lives there's a clicky sticker set the theater there's the logan cookie a gear super sewer baby um and the um the golden snitch uh there hiding in the background with um uh, with a great color scheme uh inspired by um avernus workshops uh hedwig recolor that he did and blue, um, blue and silver iridescent paint. Yeah, just really, um, it was really fantastic. So I just wanted to share that one more time with you in case you didn't get to see it before. It's such a, a beautiful piece of art, and we're so excited to have it. And we had, and we also have um, uh, I'm gonna put it Andrew safe. Hornberger's uh, painting of Logan, which was also amazing. <laughs> it was super, oh, oh here we go, yes. You didn't get to see Andrew Logan painting, cool. which is also amazing. And I love the leaves. It makes me so very happy with the tongue. It's so awesome. But, um, but yeah, so we've, uh, and actually we're, we are in talks with, um, with Minifig Chick, who's not only queen of links, but she's also queen of scrapbooks. And she's going to help us put together a scrapbook of all of the letters and all of the things um, that everybody has sent to us over um, over the time, and we're going to take pictures of some of the things that can't fit into the book. But we, um, yeah, I have a notebook, a binder where I've saved everything that anybody's ever sent us. So, um, we, yeah, we really, um, it's really, really excited about that. So that's going to be a, a, a fun thing to look back upon. Oh, and Joel Marbella, that's entirely painted. Yes, that isn't. It's entirely painted, and it's um, um, it's amazing. So, very good, excellent. So, thank you again, everybody, for joining us. Everybody out there in YouTube and Facebook land, thanks for coming and hanging out with us today. Thank you to Holly Moto and Mini Fig Chick for coming and hanging out with us today. Our, our families um, were with us. Our families were here. Um, our our Tricky Lug family as well, and also uh, just don't forget. 
tomorrow we are interviewing Mel Caddick, Lego designer. She will be here um, talking to, now she's Australian. Yeah. Which means we're going to get awesome Australian accent, which I'm super excited <laughs> about. We haven't she's had that fun. since she's Maddie fun. and Jimmy she's were on the show. Um, she comes from the land. Oh, and if so, anyone, mm -hmm. you know, if you know about Maddie and Jimmy from the Australian Lego Masters, they are just lovely, wonderful, like, just such positive people. They're they're awesome. They are delightful. It's, I can't believe that's been almost like since from the beginning that we had them on. Like we had them on really really early. Mm -hmm. on, yeah. On, but um, yeah. So also uh, just a reminder. We will be doing our sort of 2020 retrospective on Wednesday. Hopefully with our guests here and maybe some extra special guests joining along the way. Um, and and also this is just a reminder because we're trying to give you plenty of warning coming up um uh I, we haven't set the date yet but we are going to be going down to three days a week we are going to be doing uh we are just be, not just we are going to be doing wednesday friday and sunday those are going to be our um our regular days uh mondays may end up being a uh my day on twitch building uh sets because i know people have been really excited mm -hmm. about uh building sets on twitch and you know people are less excited about building sets here on this show so much so i think uh what i'm hoping is wednesdays will end up being interviews or how-to videos or our history of which i'm really looking yeah, forward to we kind feature. of launched that off a couple of weeks ago with our with the winter village sets uh fridays will continue to be the slideshow uh, for the for the challenge, and then Sundays will be our group chat. And I think that's a nice, uh, tight little schedule that we can uh, work with, and that also gives us time to uh, prepare for our show in Billund uh, at the Lego House in uh, at the end of September. So I'm very excited. About that. Big, 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 big. Uh, yeah, we got, <laughs> got lots of building to do. So, building, uh, building, building. Uh, and as you know, this is um, this since we're not on our usual software, the show is going to just kind of like end <laughs> after we say goodbye. <laughs> so, like, it's just so you know, uh, if you're hanging out, the show will be ending as soon as we finish saying goodbye. Um, so, please do join us tomorrow at 10 a.m. Uh, until then, don't forget oh. to. Oh, Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. We're being reminded, yes, that coming up in January, there is going to be a rebrick challenge using the Mandalorian and Child um, uh, brickhead set. So if you haven't picked up one yet, hopefully, I don't know, maybe there'll be some in stock soon. I know that they had started to run out, uh, but uh, hopefully we'll be getting yep. back more of those in and soon. You get Two build challenges. And we're going to get two that. challenges out of that. But uh, that won't be our first challenge of 2021, but it is going to be coming up in January. I just want to make, we want to make sure that everybody has time to get their copy before we do that, because I know a lot of people want to be involved. So um, really, really excited uh, to uh, see what people are going to make of that. So, But uh, until <laughs> tomorrow at 10 a.m., don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear your mask, get that flu shot, and we will see you tomorrow morning. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>